Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can work with these two standard integrals. I'm giving them to you without proof. The first one is the integral of 1 divided by a squared plus x squared integrated with respect to x where a is a constant. It's equal to 1 divided by a multiplied by the inverse tan of x over a plus a constant of integration c. And in the second one here we've got the integral of 1 all divided by the square root of a squared minus x squared integrated with respect to x and it's equal to the inverse sine of x over a plus again that constant of integration c. So as I say I'm giving these without any proof just want to show you how we can use them and to do that I've got three examples here and in each of these examples I'm going to be trying to push a new idea okay certainly in these last two need to take care over these ones so for the first one the integral of 1 all divided by 9 plus x squared integrated with respect to x then this looks similar to this one here you can see that the constant a is going to be 3 because what we can do here is rewrite this as the integral of 1 all divided by 3 squared plus the x squared and that's integrated with respect to x so the a matches up here as being 3 so the answer then is going to be 1 over 3 multiplied by the inverse tan of x over 3 plus the constant of integration so we'll just put that in as being 1 third then multiplied by the inverse tan of x divided by 3 and then plus c okay well that's that one let's just separate it from the next one coming up now for the next one we've got the integral of 1 divided by the root of 25 minus 9x squared integrated with respect to x and you can see that with these two types of integrals we just have 1x squared here and minus 1x squared here nothing in front of the x squared term other than say a 1 or minus 1 but here we've got minus 9 so we're looking at this integral here and it is possible to change it into this format what we do is we take the value in front of the x squared in this case the 9 and we pull it out the front of a bracket I'll show you we change this then to the integral of 1 divided by and then we've got the square root here so we just put the square root sign in and then we pull the 9 out in front of a bracket and then we write 25 over 9 so 9 times 25 over 9 will just give us the 25 here and then we'll just have minus x squared and all of this is integrated with respect to x now the square root of 9 here is going to be 3 so we can think of this then as equaling 1 third times the integral of 1 divided by and then in here we've got the square root of just 25 ninths minus x squared now 25 ninths we can think of now as 5 thirds all squared and then we've got minus x squared and this is integrated with respect to x so we now have this integral here a is going to be 5 thirds so what we get then is this is equal to 1 third multiplied by the inverse sign of x divided by a a being the 5 thirds just put that in brackets like so plus a constant of integration which I'll call c and if we tidy this up what we end up with is 1 third multiplied by the inverse sign then of 3 
x over 5. Okay, so just put that in brackets, and then we've got plus c. Okay, so that's how we handle a type where we haven't got a 1 or a minus 1 in front of the x squared here. And the same is going to apply in this example here. You can see we've got a 25 in front of the x squared as opposed to just having a 1 there. So it's going to follow a very similar method to this one here. In this example also I've included a 3 here. But that shouldn't be a problem because all we've got to do is just pull that 3 out in front of the integral. So we're going to have 3 times the integral then of 1 divided by 16 plus 25x squared. But when it comes to handling the denominator here, what I do is I pull out 25. I pull out 25, I can put it out the front here, and then that is multiplied by 16 over 25, 16 25 and then plus x squared. And this is integrated with respect to x. So what I've got next is that this is equal to 3 25 and then I've got the integral of 1 divided by, and 16 25 can be thought of then as 4 fifths all squared. 4 fifths all squared plus the x squared, and that's integrated with respect to x. So we now got this particular type here, where a is 4 fifths. Okay? So substituting that value into there, what we've got is the 3 25ths at the front, and that's multiplied by 1 over a. In other words, 1 divided by all of 4 fifths. Okay? So we've got that. And then that's multiplied with the inverse tan of x divided by a, a being the 4 fifths. So I'm showing you this step by step. I'm sure you might want to jump stages. It's quite easy to do that. But uh, what do we get now? Well, well 4 fifths of 25 is going to be 20. So we're just going to get 3 twentieths here. So that's going to be 3 twentieths multiplied by the inverse tan of 5x over 4. So we get 5x over 4. And then we've got the constant of integration plus c. OK? So I hope this gives you some idea anyway on how we go about handling these types of integrals.